What's up guys? So funny story, <laughs> I decided to download uh, or to sign up rather for a free trial of Grindr Extra. So for some context, if people don't know what I'm talking about, Grindr Extra is the version of Grindr that you can pay for and then you get all these extra features. They were doing this like free trial promo, this, this pop-up came down and I thought why not? Like I'll cancel it right before it ends so that I don't get enrolled into the actual paid subscription and I'll still get like, you know, best of both worlds. I'll, I'll get the, the new features for free, right? Um, for more context, I'm assuming most people watching this have had the same experience on Grindr that I have, which is, you know, in the moment you download it, it's a very superficial app and you're hoping that you'll get what you want, whether it is dates or hookup or whatever. Um, because there's an ease to Grindr. You can reach out to whoever you want. It's GPS based. Despite that sort of immediacy that uh, and like short attention span sort of magnetic pull that Grindr has, I would say only 1% of the time do I actually meet up with somebody. So in my mind, I was like, why not try this free trial for fun? I was bored in the moment. I felt like doing it and I thought this will be interesting to see like when you have all these other features and you see so many more profiles does it actually help you increase that one percent of meeting somebody to like five percent or ten percent so this was my little experiment i have to say as soon as i upgraded it was overwhelming because you suddenly see 500 more profiles it's kind of like being a kid in a candy store you're just like oh, like overwhelming but in a in a fun exciting way like it really tugs on your grinder has a way of really tugging on your like primitive uh, desires of like you just want this and you want to see more and da, da 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 and so you see 500 more profiles and of course there's something cool about that because otherwise despite always having access to a hundred profiles on Grindr you guys know how it is if you've used the app half of them don't have a profile picture or it's like a picture of the beach or something or like an animal because they don't want to show themselves or it's like their leg or their chest. So to actually see more faces of people who actually live near you was kind of cool. Like, oh, I didn't know this person. It's a try this person I'm attracted to lives around here. But really comparing it to a kid entering a candy store is a little too innocent. I think it's more like entering a casino in Las Vegas and being like, oh, look at all these slot machines, look at all these Russian roulette uh, tables. Because grinders are obviously seedier. And I do think that there is an element to it that's kind of you are kind of like gambling because you put in this effort and you get excited and again Griner like reaches your visceral sort of um, instincts and and yet usually you end up empty-handed which is the same thing with gambling right like one time out of a hundred times of you know playing on a slot machine you might actually win something and then you want that high again that adrenaline rush of winning the other thing is you get access to all these um extra filters that you can combine. So you can look for like exactly what you want. Let's say you want a guy who's f between 5'9 and 5'11 and between 25 and 30 and you know he has to be this race and he has to be a top or a bottom or whatever. Like it sounds ridiculous but you can actually customize your grinders so that you only see the specific kind of person you're looking for. And I have to say, there is something really neat about that because if you think about other apps like Tinder or Bumble, really popular apps used by most people, I guess, who are, who are using dating apps, all of those apps are tailored to straight people. Like, you don't have a way to search through filters that are relevant for gay people like, are you compatible with top, bottom, and so on. Um, even something like body type, yeah, it's superficial, but it is kind of genius in a sense from a business perspective for an app to provide that kind of filter because Tinder doesn't give you the option to search for the kind of body type you're you're attracted to in a, in a man or a woman or are you like sexually and romantically compatible with that person you kind of take a chance of seeing all these profiles and then you have to make your way through by swiping so Grindr kind of cuts to the chase um, and of course there's you know ramifications so that it's a more superficial community as a result and we've all seen like really harsh profile descriptions and probably you guys some of you have also interacted with guys who are jerks um, but I do want to point that out I think it's cool no matter what you say about Grindr there is something that I respect about it as an app which is that it's customized for gay men it's by gay men for gay men so this trial was for a week I went in 
in the beginning like kind of overwhelmed and then you know you get used to it and you see all these different profiles and whatever and but at the end of the day it's the same thing yeah you see 500 more profiles but it's like it's still that one percent of the time you're actually going to talk to somebody you like who actually keeps responding and gets back to you and who's interested in meeting you as well and of course since it's gps based as an app the more profiles you're scrolling through the farther away the guys are because grinder is such an app that is um like immediacy oriented the farther you go out the less you're likely i think to capture somebody's attention but the ironic thing is the week that i had this trial two guys reached out to me on the app so it's not even like I found them and I otherwise wouldn't have found them. They reached out to me and we kept talking and it was probably the most normal and and like kind and sweet and genuine conversations I've ever had. Not only on Grindr actually, probably any dating app. And it's funny because I was always the kid like years ago who was like, I'm never going on any dating apps. And then eventually I got on the Tinder and on OkCupid okay and Bumble. And I was, after that, like, I will never be the guy on Grindr. I will never use an app like Grindr. And then, of course, since then, I've tried Grindr. And so I had all these, I used to have more parameters around me, like, that is not how I want to meet somebody. And it's ironic because I'm still talking to those two guys. We've hopped off the app. And there's actually a third guy from Grindr that, I, same thing, that I started talking to weeks ago. And we have been talking about meeting up soon. And so I allegedly have these, like, three dates now plans <laughs> with guys I made off of Grinder, which isn't typically how things are supposed to go but it really does show you I think you can anything can happen in any situation like you can have the worst vile experience on Grinder, but you can also have a great experience it's funny how like we do set up these mental preconceived notions of what you're gonna get if you go to the bar or if you go to grind or if you go to bumble or whatever what i've learned from it is that you really do have to just like give look at somebody as an individual and give them a shot to express who they are and and obviously use your intuition to figure out like is this somebody that i'm into like is this a match but i'm looking forward to these dates with these guys um so we'll see what happens but it's just funny to me that this is how my grinder extra situation ended. I just ended up spending more time on the app as a result of having these extra features and then I started talking to these two guys that seem actually super refreshing. That is my Grinder Extra story. Obviously then I um, got rid of it because I didn't want to pay the ridiculous fee of like I think it was like 25 bucks a month if you go month to month as opposed to like getting billed ahead of time for the entire year. Um, but it, it was an interesting experience and it was kind of cool to be able to search for exactly what you think you want or are looking for. Um, I've never had that experience or that ability, that capacity on any other app before. If you guys have ever tried a subscription-based app, I would love to hear about it.